Ваше превосходительство, дамы и господа, сейчас мы приступим к рассмотрению последнего пункта нашей повестки дня, пункта 12, под названием «Закрытие конференции», в рамках которого мы заслушаем заключительные заявления. В соответствии с правилом 16 правил процедуры, я предоставляю слово Генеральному сектору Организации Объединенных Наций, его превосходительству Антонио Кутеришу. Пожалуйста. Mr. President, Excellencies, colleagues and friends, my thanks to the Netherlands and Tajikistan for co-hosting this conference, a milestone at the midway point of the water action decade. I also thank the President of the General Assembly and the representatives of all levels of government who attended, as well as the scientists, academics, civil society groups, indigenous peoples, members of the private sector, and young people who have joined us. Together, your ambitious vision and dedication to action and transformation is propelling us towards a sustainable, equitable, and inclusive water-secure future for people and planet alike. Excellencies, this conference demonstrated a central truth as humanity's most precious global common good, water unites us all. I thank the General Secretary of the Organization of the Nations. With the participants of the conference, I invite the statement of the President of the 77th Session of the General Assembly, его превосходительство Чабу Кёрыши. Your Excellency, President Emu Mali Rakhmon. Your Excellency, Prime Minister Evelyn Weber Kruch. Secretary General, Water Friends. It took us almost two generations to stop neglecting our most precious resource. In those 47 years, we could have walked back and forth between New York and Mar del Plata eight times. But what matters is that we are here in New York at the watershed moment for water, our planet and people. Your Excellency President Amomali Rachman, Your Excellency Prime Minister Evelyn we were crush. Thank you for the excellent teams of Tajikistan and the Netherlands for guiding us to this historic moment. Я благодарю председателя Генеральной Ассамблеи. В соответствии с решением, принятым на первом пленарном заседании. 22 марта 2023 года конференция заслушает заявление председателя механизма ООН, водные ресурсы и генерального директора Международной организации труда господина Жильбера Кундо. Aruba, President of the General Assembly, Mr. Secretary General Excellencies, as this uh, historic uh, event draws to a close, we can see, I want to believe, a brighter future for water is opening up. Thanks to this conference, we have created a bold water action agenda with clear voluntary commitment that will adapt and grow to meet the challenges we face in the run-up to 2030 and beyond. 
این سه روز در حقیقت ما را نیروی نوی بخشید ما اهل جهان را به شهر نیویورک آوردیم اکنون ما می توانیم عملهای تحیه گردیده مشترک را در سهای آب با جهان رسانیم همه اهدداری های شما در روزنامه عملات آب وارد کرده شدند ما از این اهدداری ها استقبال کرده پیگیری تطبیق وسیع آنها را ضرور می شود یه ایمه ای چیست پرگلاسی نسیدو گنرال نوال سکرتر ارگنزاسی افنیونی ناسی и председателя Генеральной Ассамблеи для передачи программы действий в области водных ресурсов председателями конференции. Thank you. Would all the participants please return back to their seats now? Я объявляю конференцию Организации Объединенных Наций по среднесрочному всеобъемлющему обзору хода достижения цели международного десятилетия действий «Вода для устойчивого развития» 2018-2028 годы закрытой. Everything we need to live a decent life is directly related to water. Our health, food, safety, habitats, economy, infrastructure and climate. We call to come together across generations to protect Lake Sevan and other freshwater lakes. My hope is that knowledge on protection against water is spread across the world. We call on the authorities to prioritize and accelerate the access to safe sanitation in the agenda towards a water secure world. It's a privilege to be able to be here today as a young black South African woman. I have a, a clock in the shower. Three minutes is enough to have a shower. We need resources for the knowledge system to move from the local to the national and the international level. It's a vicious cycle and the water is at the heart of it. It's a massive health issue, it touches everything. It really affects women and girls. Invest in women and girls. Invest in their health, water and sanitation. Encourage and fund young people to come up with solution in biodegradable plastic. The LG, the waste we create can be upcycled into nutrition, medicine and biofuel. My wish is on accessible and inclusive blue phone that will ensure funding on water action, especially for youth initiative. We wish everyone on the disaster's forefront to be safe and protected. We will bring all our commitments, pledges and actions together in a water action agenda. We've now created a blue bank that can help finance projects in the private sector and bring them to scale, which is incredible. 
Danone with Incofin has just launched last week a new fund which is called Water Access Acceleration Fund. It's blended finance mm -hmm. and it's with partners. Cooperation at every level is needed now. We must use this conference to find a permanent home for water in the UN. Water needs to be put at the top of the political agenda. Doing it the same old way and expecting a different <laughs> outcome is not going to make us a smarter society. If we don't organize ourselves accordingly, then this conference was just another drop on a two-hot plate. We need to take meaningful action today. If not, by the time my generation is in the seats that you occupy today, it will be too late.